Tonight, new details are emerging about what has become a pattern of escapes from the federal prison camp in Beaumont. We're learning just how easy it is to walk away. KFDM's Angel San Juan continues to investigate. He joins us in the studio. This disturbing trend has been going on for more than a year now. And Angel, who's the inside source? He's 36 year old Clemente Valdez Jr. who escaped from Beaumont's minimum security federal prison camp in January, but he got caught. And today, a U.S. district judge tacked an additional two years to his sentence. Valdez's excuse? Inmates do it all the time because it's so easy. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Beaumont for months now putting pressure on the Bureau of Prisons to stop the revolving door of escapes from the federal minimum security prison camp. The community has spoken. They, they're upset about this, and we're going to do our part to make sure. And our U.S. Attorney Joe Brown has said that he will do everything to stop anyone who assists anyone from escaping from the Bureau of Prisons. There's a pattern of inmates walking away from the prison camp, trespassing through private property to get to nearby Hillebrandt Road to pick up contraband. Some return, others don't. One of those who tried to flee but got caught, Clemente Valdez Jr. Tuesday, he appeared in Beaumont's federal court telling U.S. District Judge Marsha Crone, quote, what I done was bad. The reason? It's easy. People leave and come back all the time. He went on to claim inmates bring in cocaine, marijuana, and liquor. Valdez's defense attorney, David Barlow, echoes his client's assessment. It's very easy. It's very easy. It's as easy as, as you or I walking out of a building. Barlow says Valdez had less than two years left on his prison sentence, but Judge Crone tacked on two additional years for the escape. What makes somebody leave from the prison camp, I believe, is temptation. They have served usually a very large amount of time and have worked their way down to the prison camp, down to a less restrictive setting. Judge Crone expressed her frustration at the number of escapes from the prison camp, saying it's obviously not secured. They're always wandering off. Judge Crone called the pattern troubling, saying it shouldn't be condoned by the prison and the court is not going to condone it. She added, it's not good. Somebody needs to get their act together at the prison system. Judge Crone lives in the community just like all of us do, and, and she's concerned about uh, these escapes from the federal prison. Uh, they should not be tolerated, and, and they should be stopped. At the same time as that court sentencing, Southeast Texas Congressman Randy Weber was scheduled to take a tour of the prison camp. Weber has been pressuring the Bureau of Prisons to tighten security and add fencing and cameras. We hope to catch up with the congressman this week to learn more about his visit to the prison camp. We'll keep you updated. Tiffany.